Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. So this is you being in your elements. This is you feeling confidence. This is an energy of someone who is really uh, doing well. There's this feeling of um, being passionate and living in your truth here with this uh, Queen of Wands energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Two of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, and the Sun card, Leo Energy. Okay, so there's definitely someone who is seeing you as focused and, um, you know, doing your thing. Um, this person is impressed by you. Uh, with the Sun card here, they are seeing you as someone who is, you know, glowing. It's almost like you're glowing up or there's just something about you that is so attractive and this person is so drawn towards you. However, with the that Eight of Pentacles being there, they are seeing you as doing your own thing. They're not seeing you as focused on them. Um, but there is this energy here of this is someone who in the past with the Two of Swords, they could have been unsure about you or they could have given you the impression that they were not sure or that they were indecisive. They could have just been so many uh, blocks and barriers between you and this person. And it's because this person was operating from a survival mode, a fearful instinct place. It's like this person was very guarded. Uh, this person was very protective of their heart. Uh, they, they didn't trust. They were suspicious. And you may have tried to love this person, but it's like they, they kept on stalling. You may have even felt as if this person was leading you on because, you know, it's like stalling and never really coming to a decision, never really making up their mind. And with the Two of Swords being in the reverse, it's almost as if you made that decision for them. And something about you doing this kind of surprised them. It forced them to see you in another light. Um, but I do see you may have taken a different direction here because we do see it's like you're focused on things that uh, energize you. And this person is seeing you as someone who is the light, you know, someone who is the person, who, you know, uplifts them. Perhaps you are have very healing energy or you are someone who knew how to make them feel good about themselves and they are seeing you now as that light they are appreciating you more okay so let's clarify these cards leo Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, very zero energy. Okay, so there's definitely someone here who is wanting a reunion. Someone here who's seeing you as, it's like you are, you give them that feeling of home. There's something safe about you, something comforting about you, and um, they are realizing this. And I do see this person is wanting to approach you with this in mind. It's like they, they want something from you. It's like they want to commit to you or they want to be in a relationship with you, but they are seeing you as someone who is a very good person and they like your character. They, they think you're attractive, you're beautiful you're physically and everything, but there's also something about inside. You know, this person is seeing you as great partner material. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Justice card, Libra Energy, and we have the Devil in the reverse, Capricorn Energy. So definitely, it's like this person, this, this could even be someone who you freed yourself from. With the Devil in the reverse, it's almost as if the connection you shared with them was toxic in some way. This person may have been very controlling. They could have been very obsessive and, um, you know, they could have even had some sort of addictions or substance abuse with the Devil being there. 
but it's in the with it being the reverse under the sun card i'm seeing you kind of got out of this situation you freed yourself in some way you started making healthier choices for you choosing uh to keep connections in your life that are healthy or good for you connections that add to your life that are not a liability um and you know it's like you gave this person their karma because this person i'm seeing that it's like they're experiencing their karma or they feel like um the situation worked out in your favor, but they are coming back around. They are showing up as that Knight of Wands energy. So this can be someone who was non-committal, very in and out. And we also had that indecisive Two of Swords energy. So there could be an apology coming from them as well with the Justice card. They want to try again. They want to, you know, balance out the scales. They want some sort of partnership with you. And ultimately, it is looking like the ball is in your court. With the Queen of Wands showing up as your energy, you've got options. You've got a lot of admirers. In fact, you're glowing at this time. So there is this energy of you not having to settle for this person. But just know this person is wanting you to settle for them. They want you to revisit this connection. And with the Justice card, there is an energy of wanting to give you some sort of truth or take accountability or even just apologize for something. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you. Leo. we have adjustments are required third quarter moon okay so it's going to take a lot of work to rebuild this if this if either you are interested in having this uh reunion or to give this new this connection a second chance it will require a lot of uh adjustments um, i also see this as your energy you working hard to change your relationship patterns or to free yourself from unhealthy toxic kind of connections with the devil being in the reverse and it is work with the eight of pentacles that is working on yourself that is making a commitment to doing better and it requires constant consistent efforts adjustments need to be made okay so i'm going to plan another card for you leo we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so th this person is seeing you as the one they are seeing you as the lights they're seeing you as the sun you're you're there's someone who is very positive and has good vibes and they think highly of you and they are considering that you could be the one they are seeing you as someone that they need to uh, kind of spin the block for someone they need to come back around for with this knight of wands energy okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you We have devotion and dreams fulfilled. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Okay, so I do see someone taking action on their desires with that Knight of Wands energy. Um, they are seeing you as someone that, um, you know, is a wish fulfillment with that Sun card. Um, but I also see this as you making yourself a priority. With that Eight of Pentacles, there's something you're working really hard on. It can be your self-development, your improvements, um, saying no to things that are unhealthy, any unhealthy attachments, or, you know, it doesn't even have to be in relationships. But there's something you're working hard towards, and it's requiring you to be devoted to it, to see it through, and to be honest with yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Leo. we have surrendered to miracles be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real 
let go of any resistance and banish any doubts that miracles can happen. Okay, so I do see you're empowering yourself. There's some sort of goal or something you're committed to um, changing in your life for the better. With the devil in the reverse, it's like you're overcoming. This can even be negative thinking, um, unhealthy attachments, control issues, whatever it is. I do see you overcoming something that you may have at one point thought you could never um, overcome. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.